Hey guys, before we start this video, we wanted to take a second to say thank you. Um, we just recently passed the 1,000 subscriber mark, and I realize in comparison to a lot of other YouTube channels, that's kind of small potatoes. But to us, city guys, that's pretty good. Yeah, to <laughs> us, that's a very, very big deal, and uh, we uh, we definitely appreciate you guys um, smashing that subscribe button all the way down there, um, and, and watching our stuff. Um, so, yeah, thank you, thank you a thousand times, thank you. Uh, that that's quite a milestone, and we're we're thrilled about it. So, sure. thanks again. All right, guys, so to mark the 1,000 subscriber occasion, uh, we invite you to stick around to the end of the video here. We do have a special prize for you, or at least one of you, at the very end, so stay tuned. Welcome to the Test Lake. My name is Brandon. And I'm Todd. And this is a jig, specifically a Strike King Premier Pro Model jig. Professional anglers from really around the world have long regarded the, uh, the jig as the most effective and versatile lure on the market. And I agree with them. I mean, it comes with a huge variety of presentation options, colors, trailers, I mean, you name it. And uh, really the jig has been regarded as the one lure that's, uh, I mean, an absolute necessity in every tackle box. And again, I agree with that as well. And the good thing about it is it's good all year round. So the original bass jig is credited to a guy named Bob Carnes out of Springdale, Arkansas. Uh, he wanted to make a better jig uh, for specifically for bass. He got in contact with a guy right here in Kansas City that made the mold for the prototype of that jig. You mean to tell me you guys get credited for the prototype of the bass jig? You already have the best barbecue in America and you get Patrick Mahomes? Yeah. In its most basic configuration, the jig is comprised of four elements. You have a weighted head, usually made out of lead or tungsten or something along those lines. You have a brush guard for weedless presentation. You have a skirt for lifelike motion under the water. And you also have a gigantic hook. A jig can be presented a number of ways, uh, two of which are the most popular are bouncing it across the bottom, like this. Another way to do it is to swim it uh, either under the surface or, or over the bottom, like this. A lot of companies make jigs, and there's just a ton of options available. Swim jigs, flipping jigs, uh, skipping jigs, bladed jigs. I mean, really the list goes on and on. So this morning, we're going to test, review, and score the jig and see if we can explain why so many anglers believe this to be the most legendary lure of all time. Maybe. Maybe. Yep. There we go. Yep. Oh, good one. Yeah. Yeah. No, you're not. <laughs> Dude, he's he's good. No, he's a good one though. Dude, seriously. <laughs> hey, I might need some help here, Todd. Ugh, there we go. Jig doing what it does. Got him right there at the top of the barely hook too, but it was right there at the top of the mouth. That's what we're looking for, guys. That's a good looking fish. Nice and nice and plump. All right. Get you back in the water. We got something going on there. Wow. Keep getting bluegill hits as soon as I hit the water. At least I think I do. No, that's a bass. He's dancing. Fake me out, man. Another good one. All right. There we go, y'all. Two. 
right there in the roof of the mouth, if you guys can see that, right, right where you want it. Hard to get out though. Now you gotta clear that barb. I used to bend the barbs on these hooks. Here we go. There we go. Right. Yes, sir. We doubled. Be good. Whoa. Oh my gosh. There we go. There we go. That's cool. That's cool. Go. Shoot. Shoot. All right. Give him a sniff. Get that new bass smell to it. Yep. Doubled up, man. I love it. Yeah, it did. Hit. Hold on. Oh, I broke off. Oh, no. <laughs> I should have retied. That was my own fault. We're going to change colors here, guys. <laughs> Alright, guys. I've had to change up colors. Because I've lost all my other ones. But the black and blue combo has always been a favorite of mine, too. Take it. Alright guys. Yep, thank God. Bigger than Brandon's. Much bigger than Brandon's. <laughs> so they're starting to fatten up for the fall. The winter. Alright guys. Number uh, eight for me. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Blue gill. Maybe. Decent. Yeah, I got it. There we go. Shoot, girl. Look at that. How do you too? <laughs> totally on purpose, obviously. All right, guys. Number 12 on the boat. He's got some girth to him, doesn't he? Woo! Dance! Stop! Good fish. Good one. Hey, I gotta show you off. Hold on a second. <laughs> hey, come here. Hold on. People want to see you. All right. 
There we go. Good fish. I got it. Yeah, sure you would. Oh, it's a catfish. <laughs> yeah, it's a flathead. Oh, man. <laughs> Look how ugly that is. Fun to catch though. Woo! Didn't see that coming. Did you? Yeah. Scorecard time on the uh, jig. This one, we started off with the Strike King Premier Pro jig. Um, lost quite a few jigs today, so we ended up just, I mean, it, it really is just kind of an overall jig review. So we, not we so lost much. a lot. I lost a lot. So not so much uh, the Strike King ex <laughs> itself. But um, anyway, uh, we, we have revised the scorecard because I, we realized that the scorecard was a bit long. Uh, it was the bulk of the videos, and we were just kind of sitting there yammering on about nothing. So, um, anyway, so we what we've done here is we've reduced it down to three categories. Uh, still five, you know, five points per category, but we've reduced it down. So, category one does remain price. Um, is the jig priced well in comparison to other products of similar nature and purpose? So, since we started with the Strike King, that one I was able to pick up for three ninety nine. I think they were on sale. Um, I don't know that that's the actual retail price. I think the actual retail price is about five ninety nine for those. Okay. Um, We'll go 3.99. Yeah, uh, jigs have definitely gone up in price over the years. I remember back in the 90s, um, we were able to get them for you know two bucks, you know, and stuff like that. So uh, 99 cents, some of them. But um, anyway, the good old days. Yeah, exactly the good old days. So they've definitely gone up in price, and there are some more expensive jigs out there for sure. Um, but uh, I, I think that as far as the price point of the Strike King jig that we started off with, um, I'll call that average. I'll go with a three on the price of it. Just because I think that's, it was right in the middle. They were higher priced and lower priced ones. I don't know. If we go with the three ninety nine, I'm going to go with the four on that. I think it's pretty darn good. I mean, I've gotten some jigs that are you know five and six bucks, and you know there's a little more flash to them, I guess. But um, still, that's pretty darn good. I don't know. I, I think I'm going to go with the four on that. Okay, yeah. fair enough. Second category is going to be called uh, performance. How did how did it perform in comparison to other products of similar nature and purpose? And this is where we kind of kind of bundle up durability, usability, and whatever the other one was. Um, function. Function. Yeah. Uh, th that's kind of where we bundle it all up. So it's all under one one roof now uh, called performance. So its performance is kind. Of, that's kind of the beauty of the jig. It's extremely versatile. You can swim it. Uh, you can bounce it off the bottom. You can throw it into heavy cover. You can throw it into no cover and just and just swim it, burn it, whatever you need to do. Um, but yeah, they're incredibly versatile. Uh, they do take a beating uh, as far as the paint on the the lead head or the tungsten head. They they do take a beating, and that that's fairly common. Um, you're gonna lose some of the you know the little fibers on the skirt and stuff like that it just happens but uh overall the backbone of the jig is uh is very solid to me um particularly in the way of strike king i think they do a really good job um of making their their products uh very very good quality uh so i'm gonna go with a four on that and um i'm going four on its its overall performance what about you i'm with four on that one too um I, I loved it i mean it took a while just to finally get things going but um i mean geez we caught some nice fish on there as well so yeah, yeah like you said it's, it's going to take a beating but you know with any kind of lure that's it's expected mm -hmm. nothing's perfect obviously um especially the trailer i mean I, those things take a beating <laughs> yeah <laughs> from the bluegill that we caught i mean we never got a bluegill in but you can always tell those little morse code bites you know they're bluegill on there so uh it's 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 awesome so i'll go with the floor 
I like right it. On. Yeah. Right on. Right on. It's marathon. Um, so the third and final category is going to be in the category of production. Um, this asks the same question as effectiveness from the previous videos, but production, did it produce the expected results? Um, yeah, absolutely it did. Um, I think that we can safely say that the jig is definitely one of the most versatile lures that every angler should have there in their tackle box. Mm -hmm. um, you catch... You catch big fish, small fish, yeah. um, catfish. You can throw it anywhere, and <laughs> and depending on how you present it, um, you know whether it's in heavy cover, light cover, off rocky banks. However, you're you know uh, it's it's so good it can go anywhere, um, and and catch you good fish. So um, yeah, as far as its production for me, no question about it. Jig is at the top of the hill. You know they're king of the hill to me. So um, yeah, five. I'm going on its production. Oh yeah, I don't think you can go less than a five on that one there. Uh, you know, it, it, we're kind of getting to the fall season here, so the, uh, the bass are starting to fatten up, and we got some we got some fat ones today. That was fun. And now, obviously, we got that uh, flathead catfish out there, which was ugly as sin, but still fun to catch, though. <laughs> but a sweet guy. But a sweet guy. <laughs> yeah, that could be a good cook. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but no, actually, I, I'd love to use this again here. I think this is only going to uh, catch us some bigger fish, especially as the season goes on. So, yeah, nothing less than a five from me on this one. For sure, mm -hmm. for sure. Good deal. So, um, yeah, what we're doing here is still we're taking the average of our two scores. Um, at this point, now that we've revised the scorecard, we can only give out as many as 15 points. So I'm giving 12 to uh, the Premier, uh, the Strike King Premier Pro Jig, or really to all jigs for that matter. But, um, yeah, I'm going 12 out of 15 on the uh, on a jig. Yeah, I got 13. So that, that gives us 12 and a half out of uh, 15 possible points. Excellent showing, uh, Strike King. You guys do make uh, – you guys make – extremely good quality products when it comes to jigs and crankbaits and various other things but um yeah so um on to uh the matter of uh what we talked about at the beginning here so since we've uh, since we've crossed the thousand subscriber threshold um we, we would like to do it we're, we're going to do a giveaway and uh so we're, we're going to post a picture over on instagram um and funniest caption wins right but you have to be a follower on our instagram account so uh, make sure that you you know, subscribe to the channel, obviously, but then go follow us over, <laughs> go follow us over on Instagram. So what we're giving away though, is we're calling it a test lake starter kit. So the majority of our videos are filmed here at the test lake. Um, we, uh, and obviously you guys know we do product reviews. So what we're doing in this test lake starter kit is we're putting into a, uh, we're going to box up some of our favorite things that we've reviewed to this point. Um, in that box is going to be the, uh, there's going to be a DT six. Uh, there's going to be, Look at some flukes in there. That's yep. my favorite. The, so, some yeah. Zoom Super flukes. Get some um, Rapalas. Yep. Yep. Some Rapalas. Uh, so we'll have the uh, the DT6. We'll have some flukes. Uh, probably we'll throw in either a Berkeley Chapo or a Whopper Plopper. I guess we'll leave that as a, as a surprise element. Yeah. But we're also going to include the uh, from the video the uh, H2O Express M3 Metal. Um, we're going to include that reel. Uh, that bait casting reel that was used in the making of that video in this in this test lake starter kit giveaway. So um, we got some good surprises for you. We got a few things in mind. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. And we'll we'll probably throw pepper in a couple other things in there as well. So um, yeah, hop over to Instagram, uh, drop us a follow on there. Like I said, you uh, to qualify, you got to be a follower on the Instagram account. Um, we're not terribly active on Instagram, but uh, that's, we're that's the easiest way we can get in touch with you. Um, we can slide into your DMs there and let you know if you've won. But uh, we'll announce the video um, after, not the next video, but uh, the video after that. Um, we'll announce the winner as far as uh, who that was. So, uh, guys... Really, again, we, we appreciate you stopping by every single time. Um, we always appreciate your support. Make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. Also, click like on the video for us. Let us know that you were here. Yes, and also uh, we have a couple of the uh, suggestions that you guys have commented on in mind, and actually we're going to do those in the next couple of videos here, so mm -hmm. please stay tuned for that. But Absolutely. Of course, uh, anything else you want us to review, please let us know. We would love to. Guys, thanks again so much for stopping by. For the KC Bass Guys, I'm Brandon. And I'm Todd. And... KC Bass Dog. KC Bass Dog. <laughs> All right. That. <laughs> can't do it. Yes, you can. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by.